everyone, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a Dublin haul for you. I recently went along to Dublin and spent the weekend there so I picked up quite a few items. Um, I will apologise now if my throat goes a little bit funny um, throughout this video. I've woken up with a kind of throat infection um, so I will sound a little bit kind of wheezy and a bit funny um, throughout the video. Um, but everything that I bought from Dublin is either from the duty free lounge or actual Dublin itself. Um, so the first items that I'm going to show you is from the um, the gifts for people that I picked up. So I bought these from kind of the little um, Dublin kind of uh, gift shops areas. I picked up three magnets for three for ten euros. Um, I picked up this one here. This is just a leprechaun design on a four leaf clover with island on it. I just thought that was a really really cute design. Um, I then picked up a four leaf clover with um, island in the middle of it. It just looks like this. I just thought that was really cute. And the last kind of magnet that I picked up for other people was a temple bar one which just says Dublin on the bottom which I just thought was a really adorable design. Um, so those were three for ten euros so I just picked up three of those to give away to people. Up next in one of the gift stores I actually found this really adorable necklace. Um, this is one that I'm actually going to be keeping for myself, I'm not giving it this away. Um, but it is just this necklace here. So this is actually a trinity knot. Um, the trinity knot for um, a pagan believer um, it has different varies of it um, but I see it as a life kind of knot so I see it as birth, life and death um, so I just thought that was a really really nice design so I picked up one of those um, if you are a Christian it does mean it just says on the back it's a blessed trinity so it means the Father, Son and Holy Spirit um, but I just thought it was a really really lovely design so I picked up one of those for 13 euros and next I picked up quite a few things for my little um, nephew. I picked up a pair of little socks with this leprechaun design on which I just thought was really adorable. That was €3, Euros, so I just picked up that from the airport. I then picked up a baby grow in the same kind of design, um, which just looks like this. It's just a really nice little baby grow. I picked up that for €11, Euros, so I just thought that was a really adorable design. Up next I picked up a item from Pennies. Now Pennies is the Dublin version of Primark but it's a lot kind of bigger in there. Um, it's really stressful to go around. They have things like a hair um, and nail salon in there. They have different brands in there. Um, it's a lot larger than kind of our flagship stores so it's a lot kind of busier and there's a lot more kind of people going around. Um, so I could only pick up a notepad because I was getting quite kind of stressed and anxious in there. Um, I picked up this notepad here, it just says follow your heart on the front, it's a really cute kind of pink design, it's a hardback one. Um, we probably have this in the UK kind of stores but I've not seen it in my local one yet. Um, that was €3.50 so I just picked up one of those. Um, I picked up quite a few kind of confectionery pieces. Um, my favourite chocolate is peanut M&Ms. I absolutely love them. And in the airport they had bags for six euros which were the maxi bags. So they're absolutely massive. Um, it's 440 grams so I just picked up one of those because I absolutely love um, peanut M&Ms. They also had all the other flavours as well, the blue bags and the brown bags as well. So I just picked up one of those. And now I also picked up four bars of Cadbury's chocolate which may sound a little bit weird because we do Cadbury's over here, but it was a bar of chocolate that I haven't yet to see kind of in my store. I'm not sure whether they're available or they're just sold out or anything like that, but I picked up four bars of Cadbury's chocolate for two euros for two bars, so four euros each. Um, I picked up the Cadbury's um, Golden Crisp bar. Um, I also picked up the Tiffin bar, which I've heard absolutely loads about, but I'm yet to try. I went with a Caramello one, which just is a caramel one. And the last one I picked up, which is my one that I'm kind of most excited about, is the Mint Crisp one. But I've just basically heard so much about these kind of uh, Cadbury's bars, but I'm yet to see them in our stores. So I just picked up those from Ireland and brought those back. The last few items are ones that I picked up from the airport, mostly from Boots. Um, I picked up two of the Barry M Strobe um, Illuminating Creams. Um, I picked up the Iced Bronze one and also the Frosty Pink one. They're just like the, this and they're just for strobing. Um, I believe they were six uh, €6.99 um, but they were in a buy one get one half price offer. Um, I just said absolutely loads about these and I wanted to try them out for myself so I picked up two of those to try. Um, and then the last item that I got from Boots is a mouth uh, freshener. Basically it's this one from the brand Hello. This did come over to the UK and I believe it is still in the stores. Um, but in my local one they've decided to just not stock it. 
Um, so I picked up the Breath um, Spray in Mojito Mint. I did actually have the mouthwash version of this, but um, it ran out and then when I went to repurchase it, it wasn't there anymore. Um, so I just decided to pick up the little freshener just to try that one out to keep in my handbag. The last item that I picked up from the airport and from the whole of Dublin kind of thing is a MAC oil control cream. I actually saw this a few kind of weeks ago when I went to um, Amsterdam and everywhere but I couldn't actually find the mini version of it. Um, because I have quite sensitive skin I didn't want to have kind of a reaction to anything um, so I decided to pick up the mini version but they were sold out. Um, so I finally managed to get a version of the mini one um, and so I'm really excited to try this product out. It was around €10 Euro mark. Um, but I'm just excited to see what it does to my skin, especially as summer is on its way. Um, so I just picked up one of those. Um, any of the beauty items I will do uh, reviews on on my blog as well, which is linked below. Um, so I do hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if my throat just sounds really awful for you. Um, it's awful for me as well at the same time. Um, but if you did enjoy it, then please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.